I'm gonna have to make some corners in order to slow down. So super aggressive with the front brake and really control the slide with the rear wheel. And if I start losing control, it's not gonna be a small crash, so. Rider number six. Sick. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am in Golden BC on top of Mont 7 and you probably recognize the view because that's the start of the iconic Psychosis downhill. The main characteristic of that absolutely epic race is the start. It's called Dead Dog, it's a pro line and it is the steepest trail in the world. 306 meters long, 158 meters of elevation. You are on the brakes the entire time trying to slow down and it's gonna be brutal. To make it even harder, it rained a lot last night, so it's gonna be very slippery. The locals told us it's unrideable when wet, so let's see how I do. This video is brought to you by Tourism Golden, and it is the second stop of our BC bike trip. Let's ride. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to make some corners in order to slow down. So I know this looks intimidating, but that's actually the easiest part of the trail. Yeah. I'm gonna stop here. I actually had to make a few like skiing corner in order to slow down, but because it's like a, a shell terrain, it's actually fairly easy to slow down, but this section is gonna be absolutely no joke. Definitely went a bit faster this time, but it's nice because if you make yourself really heavy, you can actually slow down and carve the bike. It's pretty predictable. It's nice. Okay, now that I've done it twice, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. I've got more experience with the terrain, so I can increase the speed. Oh, that was cool. It's a really good sensation. Now that I've done it three times, I'm more experienced, more knowledgeable with the terrain, and so I can increase the speed. And I think the key is really to make yourself as heavy as you can, because the ground is super soft. So on that type of shoot, you want the tire to really bite as deep as they can. Even though you slide a lot from the rear wheel, you really want to be quite aggressive with the front brake. So super aggressive with the front brake and really control the slide with the rear wheel. I was making corners just like a, a skier would do to slow down and uh, I think that's really important as well to keep your center of gravity low, make yourself really heavy by dropping your heels. But this is a good indicator of if you're going to be able to do the second part of the trail because this is kind of a warm up. This gets really spicy, the ground is more clay based so it gets really sticky with the tire, really slippery. I haven't ridden this part yet this year, I've done it last year when it was bone dry. But we've done a similar trail 
yesterday and with the rain it's, it gets really challenging so if you struggle on that upper part I think it's a good idea to either take the, the beeline on the side or hike back up and do an easier trail. Okay, now let's check out the serious stuff. It's already a bit more greasy here. Oh. I try to stay on the shelf. So it's really, okay, now it's getting really slippery. I'm gonna use a catch bird and I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, you can see the ground right there. Made way more of clay. And one of the, one of the things you can do is really try to look for support. So even if you take a straight line, if you can manage to take a berm, that can really help you to slow down, control the bike, and regain composure before the next tip section. Wow, that's slick. So this is incredibly steep, and in addition, it is extremely slippery. And I'm actually really worried to ride on it. This is a race line, so it's straighter. And the B line seems to be just as slippery. So this is, you know, more consequences. But this might be actually more doable because there's so much asperity on the ground that maybe I can somehow find traction and make it all the way down there. Okay, so as slow as I can. So far, not too bad. A lot of phone break. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so gnarly. I just like, I got scared to commit and cross those routes to get back onto the line. So I was trying to find an exit basically so I could safely stop. Well, that's embarrassing because that's the kind of stuff where I should be good at. And it involves braking control, line choices, and I've managed to properly do none of those two things. I was pretty good on the top. I thought I had a good line, I was managing to slow down properly and then towards that middle section I picked up a bit of speed and because I didn't really know what was coming up I ended up choosing to go riders right and I started to get pushed over against those routes and this one is the one that really made me lose all my confidence so when I got slightly higher here I panicked and instead of focusing on where I wanted to go, I started to focus on where can I bail safely. So look us right where my bike is. There's not as much rocks. The trees are, seems to be pretty friendly. So I was like, if I have to crash somewhere, this is gonna be my spot instead of going left and potentially going all the way down the mountain. Yeah, it's uh, not very happy with my, uh, with my riding right now. Yeah, it is really tough. Like, I don't think the camera can show, but like, you can't even hike up on the dirt. So steep and so slippery. It's really hard. So I'm going to start from where I started to fail. Let's try it. And I go on a straight line this time. I'm going to stop here and reset. Oh, this is insane. It's like, it's not even fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly slippery. Like, it is so steep and it's, you know, pretty eroded right now because we had a super tough winter, basically no summer. It's been spring the entire time with a lot of rain. You know, the ground is just saturated. Because it's clay, it turns into peanut butter and it's just so hard to, you know, basically slow down or hold on the line and you know, stay on the bike, like, I like to think that I'm a pretty good rider and I look like, you know, it's my first time riding a downhill bike, so I don't even know if it's worth it for me to try to ride the bottom part, I mean this section at least, 
because I'm not confident I can stay on the bike. And the problem is that if I start carrying speed and if I start losing control, it's not gonna be a small crash. So yeah, I'm gonna check a bit the line and assess the situation. <laughs> well, I hope that gives a bit of perspective of what we're trying to ride in the current condition. And what's funny is that Alex and I have ridden that trail last year once and the conditions were perfect and we had no issue whatsoever. We had a ton of fun and that's why we wanted to come back today. We didn't really consider that the conditions would be that slippery. Okay, I'm going to try to ride that higher line. See if I can control the speed. Oh my god. In those conditions, this wasn't fun. But thank you for watching. The bottom part should be a bit more enjoyable. Woo! Somehow survived dead dog. It was incredibly gnarly, just as gnarly as the mosquito, as you can probably see on the screen. But one of the key tips to ride the steep and loose shoot is to not forget that your front brake stops you while the rear brake only slows you down, especially if you brake traction with the rear wheel. If you're not super hard on the front brake, then you are not slowing down at all. So it's really important. You really have to find that limit before the front wheel slides. And that's, I think, is the only reason why I was able to ride down that bottom section. Also, in terms of line choices, I avoided to cross one of the slippery routes made a left-hand corner and I stayed on that gravel and, and on the rocks, which are very slippery, but not as slippery as the clay. So now we're done with that super gnarly part and the fun begins. Okay, hopefully this section is not as slippery. Still slippery. And this is where the uphill starts during the psychosis downhill. Following the climb, you've got an absolutely epic view on Golden and Kicking Horse. And now we've got a super fun section. It's like on a ridge. Such a fun trail. Oh, that's so sick. I love that.
I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> that was so cool. That was really steep. Absolutely key to ride relax and try not to fight the bike too much. Yeah, even here on the sun, it's super slippery. Oh, Woo. I think I had a rock stuck in my ding at some point. Okay. Back at it. So sick to have a downhill bike because that really forgives much more than a trail bike. Such a fun app. I really enjoy that track because it's super complete. You got the steep technical section, but also the fast and flowy stuff. And the bottom part is still quite slippery, not nearly as bad as the top. So for me, the pro tip is gonna be to slow down before the corner. And once I initiate the corner, make sure I'm completely off the brakes. Why? Because if you still drag your brakes while you corner, the likeliness of losing the grip is way higher, but also when you brake hard before the corner, you don't want to lock your wheels. If you do lock your wheels, you might fill up the tire with dirt, causing the knobs to not bite as well the dirt. So it's really important to keep that in mind. And for this, there's no better advice than really looking ahead and having that you know, tall and neutral position when you can. And uh, yeah, you should just uh, keep on going and do some fun GoPro stuff. Yeah, definitely didn't have the best lines. <laughs> well, it's not really possible to pick up a good line without knowing. There's so many lines. I think if you can hold the straight line here, it's definitely faster, especially for exit speed. I'm getting nervous here because that's where I saw a big bear last year. I was exactly right here. Hopefully it's not there today. Such a fast section. Oh, 
Bon, it's slippery here. Oh, it's so slick. And that's it, Psychos is done it. Oh wow, motocross track. Thanks a lot for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, give me a like, leave me a comment, and check out the links in the description. Every purchase you make supports my channel. So thank you so much for that. Big shout out to Tourism Golden for sponsoring that video. Can't wait to be back here, ride more trails, and also ride against that iconic trail, this time in the drive. See you next week.